Miss O went to the dentist today. And I don't really like dentists. It's not personal, it's purely professionally. I just don't like people putting power tools in my mouth. I'm weird like that. Maybe it's just me. I especially don't like Miss O's dentist. Don't get me wrong, he's a good guy and a good dentist. He just says really weird shit. He told her one time that it was an absolute pleasure to be in her mouth. Really, Doc? Fuck, I wouldn't know, but I'll take your word for it. How do you respond to something like that, really? And she had the audacity to want me to go to this man. And I had to put some serious thought into what would I do if he told me that. Do I respond with thank you, Daddy? No. No, sir. Oh, and did I mention that he's like a very attractive man? Yeah, this is like a whole insecurity for me. You ever see a car driver get loved on by a 90-pound pit bull? I have. Let's talk about it. God, that intro was creepy, wasn't it? You want to know how to grow your own mushrooms? Anyway, so we used to have this guy that come into our store. His name was Sammy. He would come in the shop but leave his doggo in the car. But he would leave the air on, windows cracked, food and water, everything. But he would always tell me in case some random Karen decided to come up and cause problems. Trust me, that dog was well taken care of. And that doggo's name was Boss. And I got to know him and Boss pretty well. Boss was a gentle dog. He just didn't like random strangers. Anyway, one day he came in and let me know the boss was in the car. And I just so happened to be in the office and I pulled the cameras up to watch his car. Shortly after that, I noticed there was a guy next to his car. So I come bolting out of the office and by the time I get in the parking lot, dude already had the door open and was trying to take off in the car. But he failed to realize he had 90 pounds of fur and teeth in the back. That wasn't happy that a stranger woke him up. Dude bolts out of the car quick as shit. Boss follows him. The would-be carjacker tried to kick boss. Big fucking mistake. That dog latched onto his shoe and pulled him the fuck off his feet. The carjacker got his foot out of the shoe and turned into a track star. We never found him. But Sammy didn't lose his car, and Boss got a new chew toy. Smash that plus. It's the petty for me. So one day we had an associate from a neighboring store come in, claiming that she had bought a PlayStation 4 with no PlayStation in it. She stated that she had bought it three days ago. Three fucking days ago, and just noticed she didn't have a PlayStation in the box. So they called me up to the service desk. Now the whole story to me sounded fishy. Mind you, empty boxes do make their way to the sales floor. So I had an idea. I took the box and told her I needed to make a phone call and stepped into the cash office. I made my phone call and came back to her about five minutes later with a big old smile on my face. Told her I had some good news. I told her I had contacted Sony about the PlayStation and they confirmed that someone had logged into the PlayStation the same day she bought it. And they went ahead and banned that PlayStation Network ID and blocked and deleted all games and content associated with that ID. She turns white as a ghost. Starts to freak the fuck out. Explained that she lied in that ID was her son's, but her two kids were fighting over the PlayStation, so she wanted to try to get a second one. Are you ready for the petty part? I never fucking called Sony. I don't even know if they can do that shit. But she believed it. I called my girlfriend for five minutes. Long story short, the store didn't lose a second PS4. She got fired and I got an internal. I got five minutes of quality time with my girlfriend. Everyone won. 